Hi, this is Ken Newell with Stuart Cooper Newell Architects. Today we would like to talk about three common mistakes that we often see that fire departments make in designing and planning their fire stations. First mistake that we'd like to talk about is not involving an experienced architect early in the process. Uh, notice that I said involving, not necessarily hire. There's an awful lot of information that you can gain from an architect even prior to hiring the architect. That may include uh, some pre-planning advice on sites, pre-planning advice on budgets, pre-planning advice on the program sizes of your station. So it's important to bring that architect in to the project as early as possible to get the most benefit from the experience they have. Speaking of experience, you do want to select an architect that's got lots of fire station experience. There's some very qualified designers out there in other building types, but for your fire department, you want to make sure that they have fire station experience and bring them on early. The second mistake that we often see people make would be selecting their site based on the wrong criteria. Oftentimes, as you know, fire departments will select a site based on response time, coverage area, and those are extremely critical. You have to cover those areas. However, there are many things about the site that might be unknown early on that you may not be aware of. Oftentimes, under the site line or the dirt line itself, there would be contaminated soils, rock, uh, subsurface groundwater, uh, burial of debris many things that could hinder or increase the cost of the project as you move forward. So using the right criteria to select that site is extremely important. Making sure that utilities are readily available or else there may be extreme cost to bring those utilities from a long distance to the site. And there's many other things to consider on the site. The third thing is not designing expansion into the station. This is a mistake we often see people make. Any good station should be designed and built to be a 50 to 75 year building. That normally means that after about 25 to 40 years there will be an expansion made to a fire station building. If you design the station in such a way so that it's easy to add apparatus bays, easy to add sleep or toilet areas for future firefighters, you'll save yourself a lot of problems in the future. So don't make the mistake of designing the station locked in in such a way so that it's going to become very difficult to add to it in the future. And that's the three mistakes that we often see that we'll talk about today. Thank you.